Hello, this is Dr. Nima, and this is our most advanced and most critical part of the Canvas training, uh, which is importing um, an exam view question bank. So if you have worked with exam view before, that's awesome, you know, and you, you understand what it is. Uh, generally, exam view is a way to create uh, tests and usually if you go to the publisher of your book on Cengage or uh, Elsevier or whatever one usually if you go there there is an instructor portal and you just log in and you'll be able to download the question banks for your specific book that you're teaching for each chapter there's a question bank S most of the publisher give you question bank that is uh, usable by this application which is called exam view so usually you see these icons on your desktop if you're not sure about what I'm talking about maybe you need to go to ask your IT uh, department in campus to know exactly and go and check your uh, publisher to see if you can get the question banks from them most of the publisher as I said they give you the question banks as an exam if you question bank uh, now a lot of publisher are starting giving question banks that are ready to upload to canvas right away but if you don't find them that is ready to upload to canvas you have to do the change yourself and then upload it to canvas and this is what I'm trying to do guide you through to do so um, as you can see these icons if you see them so just to use them so you can get to where are the question banks, you can just right click on one of these. And I want to say if you're not comfortable doing this, uh, don't do it. It might be a little bit more advanced. Uh, but right click on any of these and just do open file location. On the open file location, you'll find banks in here. When you click on them, you'll see something similar to this, or maybe you find different books. But for me, this is my book that I'm teaching. And you see all of these, and you can see it's exam view bank file. So I just right click on one of these, open file location, and usually they are located in your C file, program files, e structure, and exam view. And then you'll find banks you click on banks and then you'll get to the question banks so you choose the chapter that you want to work with so i'm choosing chapter two and double click on it and the application will be opened and this is my question bank so to use it again this is on exam view i have to export it i go to file i did nothing you just go to file right away export and you want to export it as blackboard 7.1 to 9.0 click on that name it so I'll name it chapter 2 and I'll just copy this for myself because I'll use it again and see I'm saving it in the desktop make sure you know where you're saving it because you'll use it save now again the same thing for the name, the directory, it's just good to keep it on the same and OK and that's it. It is saved. Now you can exit this, go to your desktop and this is your file. It's a zip file but you'll use it on Canvas. So now let's go to Canvas. On Canvas this is my course. I will need to import the question bank that I just did to import it I have to go to settings and this is just one time thing once you import a course uh, a chapter uh, question banks you can use it inside canvas you don't need to do this anymore it's just one time thing for each course uh, for each chapter and I just went to setting I will go to import course content and when you click on it you have to select the type and I select blackboard I'll choose the file remember we save it in our desktop just go to desktop here and I'm on the desktop and I'm just choosing here and now I chose it you have to select the question bank or just do a create a new question bank and just name it chapter 2 and then all content and import it will load 
it will be running. It will not take a lot of time. And once it's done, you will not need to do this anymore. That's it. It's uploaded. And for sure, you have to save afterwards your course, but this is for another video. So now we got it. Now, how can I use the question bank here? I'll go back to my assignments. And I will make a new quiz here in exams. And make a quiz. Name it Chapter 2 Test. And I'll not add these. I'll just click More Options. Now I'm here. I'll go to Questions. And now I will find questions. Remember this? We didn't use it last time. This time we can use it. You can click Find Questions. And now you can see that Chapter 2, I can see it here in my question banks. And it has 22 questions. I can select them all. Or I can select one by one. But I prefer to select them all. And if you go down, see I'm going all the way down. You can add these questions to a group. So let's go ahead and add them to a group, a new group. The name of the group is one. How many questions did you want to choose from the 22 from the 22 questions? I want to choose uh, for the students to be 10. And I'll give two points for each question. So the total will be 20. I'll create the group. And now I chose them all and I'm ready and I'll click add questions. You'll see that the questions will be starting to add it to group one. They're added one by one. So they will add the 22 questions all together. But remember, the group will only choose 10 questions out of the 22 to be displayed to the students. As you can see, if you go up again, see, pick 10 questions two per question you can edit everything you can remove things from here you can just delete the group at all you know as a group but that's good for now and now let's save and publish you just want to make sure that the points are right and here we go yes the points are 20 and now we're ready to go so if you preview this now you only have 10 questions, but you know we have 22 questions to choose from. And that's how you do it. So go back to edit this quiz. And we're ready to go. So I'll go really quick back to what I have done. The first thing that I have done is that I located where my question banks are at. And I double click on the chapter that I want. I opened it in the exam view and then I exported to Blackboard. Once I exported to Blackboard, I saved it to my desktop. I make sure that I know where I saved it at. Once I saved it to my desktop, I went back to Canvas and I went to Settings. And on Settings, I imported my question bank as blackboard just like I exported it once it was imported I went back to my assignments and I created a new quiz in here and on that quiz I went to the questions and on the questions I find questions and I did that and you can choose them one by one and all of that. There's one more thing that we need to do as usual. We have to go to our module so we can add this test to our weeks. I'll go ahead and add and then choose quiz and test two. And now I can add it and now it's ready for my students to be taken. As I said, it's a little bit more advanced way to use Canvas and uh, you might want to use it with caution. Uh, you might want to ask your IT person or department to help you with that. But um, take it slowly and one step at a time and try to follow as much as possible of this video. Uh, and I hope it will help you to do that. And since we are here, um, we'll do the next video about so if you, you're you done with everything and you have a really nice course, you don't want to lose it. So it's a really good idea that you will save your course 
and this will be done by getting to settings and I'll do a separate video for that but go to settings and then you want to export court uh, course content and then you can export just the course or the quizzes and then you can export it so that you can go back when the new course comes in and it's empty you can import it and this time you import it as a course not as a content so you can import it see a uh, course package but this is a little bit more advanced as well well thank you see you in the next video